Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we talk again about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are a huge collection of buttons for lots of different use cases, a new fancy animation for animating images, the SDK for integrating the Zomato API to retrieve detailed information about restaurants and 7 more releases that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you then subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the releases of week 52. The first package of the week offers us a video editor and is also called video editor. It allows us to crop, trim, scale and rotate videos. And here you can see how it looks like if you crop, rotate, trim or export a video. Responsiveness seems to be an endless topic in Flutter, so here we have another framework for creating responsive Flutter applications and this one is called UD Design. A new way to mock your data is offered by Mocktail, a mock library for Dart inspired by Mokito, which simplifies mocking with null safety support and no manual mocks or code generation. A floating action button which is expandable is offered by GradientFab. This means you can expand it into any number of child floating action buttons. In other words, you can press on the floating action button, it expands and then you can press on the child widgets so it holds other floating action buttons and it shows them when you press on it. Probably everyone knows about virtual reality, but have you ever heard of augmented reality? In contrast to virtual reality where everything you see is virtual, with AR glasses you see your usual environment enhanced by virtual elements. For example an infotext describing how a certain tool works. If this is a topic that interests you, then the package Camera Deep AR might be just right for you. This plugin is for camera, video and photo augmented reality recording. Security is a very important topic, especially when you process data of other people. So if you're offering an app which has an authentication system or offers online accounts, then make sure that the users who sign up have to use strong passwords. With the package Random Password Generator, you can generate strong passwords for online accounts and you can even estimate the password's strength. You can determine the conditions for passwords and you can define the message which is shown if the password is weak, if the password is good or if the password is strong enough. If you're using a lot of buttons in your Flutter projects and you're tired of styling each one of them, then have a look at Flutter Button. This package provides you with buttons for every single scenario. For example, a 3D button, social auth buttons, circular auth buttons, magical auth buttons, hover buttons, like buttons, opacity buttons, animation buttons, insta double tap laugh buttons, text buttons, gradient text buttons, floating action buttons and much more. If you need a lightweight and highly customizable SVG graphics set for Flutter, then check out Flutter Moji, which provides a customizer widget, a circle avatar and other utility functions. The package provides two easy to use widgets, the Flutter Moji Circle Avatar and Flutter Moji Customizer. The package itself supports Material Dark Theme and as you can see here in this example app, you can even set the hairstyle or the skin of the emojis, so you have really high customizability. It seems to me like everything can be animated, even pictures. And if you're such a crazy person who likes those fancy effects, then have a look at this one. With the package Atomized Image, which is the number two of the week, you get a widget which paints and animates images with particles to achieve an atomized effect. Here we have the number one of the week with 18 likes and this one is called Zomato Client, a Dart client for the Zomato API. The Zomato API gives you access to over 1.5 million restaurants across 10,000 cities globally and you can search for restaurants by name, cuisine or location, display detailed information including ratings location and cuisine, use the Zomato Foodie Index to show great areas to dine in a city. 
Those were the top 10 releases of the week. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you had a lovely New Year's Eve. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day and see you soon.